Bro, yo. Is it Mark? So, where do you call yourself there? Is it Marci? I don't know how to pronounce Mar- Marquito? Marquito. Is that okay. just Spanish for like little? Okay, yeah. Because I am hella okay. small. Yeah, so. yeah. Marquito, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 112 pounds. Bro. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's hella small. My name is Marco, but when Mar- I was little, like Marquito. Marquito. Like, little Marco. Okay, yeah. yeah that sure. shit just stuck. Like, man, no one. I don't even call my, my Marco no more. But like ever since you were like young, young. And yeah, stuff, not even boxing, just that yeah, shit. Just, that's just that was it, what it was. Because yeah. you even had it on your belt in your fight. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck. They were, they, when I went pro, they were like, man, what are you going to call yourself? Shit, I don't know. On me, Marquita. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll figure out everything else later, but. All right, let me play a little bit of music, bro, just if I can get this going, bro. Because you fuck with MBM now, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's been fucking with you. Yeah, that was tough. Like, that was cool. And usually at the beginning, just playing the music and shit gets it kind of like. Hell yeah, yeah that'll be tight. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you gotta rock with that one. Hell yeah. Harmon Warhol Show. <laughs> Shout out MBM now. I got Marco Arroyo. Marquito. <laughs> 19 and 4 amateur, 2 and 1 pro. Yep. Got a fight in two weeks. That's hey. tight. That's tight. Hey, I just found out about NBNL, bro, for real. And like, yeah. yeah, and like, I'm like, yo, this is. I'm like, yeah, so, that was blowing up. Yeah, when you find some of these people, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. How was that connection just with him, NBM now? Nah, uh, at first it was just like. We was both coming up at the same time, so it was like we didn't really know each other like that. But yeah, yeah. I always stop that food music. I remember yeah, I seen yeah. him one time in Target. Oh, really? I was like, nah, I ain't about to say shit. <laughs> well, I'm I, about to, I do that a lot too. I'm cool. I like, hey, I make sure to try to keep the uh, mic like closer right here, like this. Oh. So, yeah, I go like this. Oh, it's there. running already, rolling? Yeah, yeah, bro. That's why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <My bad. laughs> Uh, no, you're good, bro. You're uh, good. No, yeah. I do that to people to kind of to get them going. Like, yeah, chill, yeah, you mean? Do yeah, that. Like, yeah, so, like, at the beginning of it, you'll see it. Like, it'll be like, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 bro. Look good, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seen that fool in Target one time. I was like, nah, can't say what's up to him. Yeah. I do that a lot, too, bro, to people. Like, or if I do, I just can't keep it short. Bow. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to be all up on somebody. Or yeah, nothing. I know what you mean. That's cool. Yeah, do people come up to you like that at all or anything right yeah, now? Yeah, actually, just recently, yeah, I started having a lot of people come up to me, ask for pictures, ask for... Really? At uh, first, it was super weird, like, what you want a picture of me for? Yeah. But... What does that do for you, or does it do anything for you at all? Yeah, it does a lot, like, it's yeah. motivation, like, because at yeah. first, I was just, just a normal person, but... I still am a normal person, but it just, it's yeah. tight, like, like little, like, younger kids, the youth just... Just like looking up to you, saying like, "Oh man, you make me want to start boxing, or you make me want you make me want to start boxing, bro." Like, hey, bro, tight. I just need to keep give you the compliment, bro. Left hook and bro, overhead right, bro. That you got, bro. I'm like, yo, this nigga <laughs> popping this nigga in, fucking trying to do his jam, fucking boom, nigga. That's I was like, nigga, that's what's up. That fucking hooked yeah, that yeah. nigga's body, bro. I was like, yo, that shit was. I was like, yo, because you're you're at uh, 112 pounds. What do you walk yeah, around at? I like, walk around. Uh, almost 130s. Yeah, like okay, yeah, 30s. that's what I think, but still, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, man, how did... that weight cut sucks. But... Yeah, damn, bro. 112 pounds, nigga. But like, when, like, at first, I'm like, okay. And then when the punches, I'm like, damn, how's a nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's you weighing, and then and after that, it. you'll you get it. it I guess you use it all that 120 pounds or whatever. Whatever you cut back up when you're fighting. Because yep. you, you don't get all the way back to 130, do you? Nah, I usually gain around 10 pounds. Okay, so 120, that's what like, I was thinking. 122, one, one, I try to get as high as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's lying one day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, does that how does that weight affect you? Cause like just me running, cause I do some running and shit. And when I do a lot of running, I start losing that weight, and I can feel it in my bones and joints. But then yeah. when I stop running, and then I try to run again, and I pick up that weight. I can yeah, kind of yeah, feel yeah. that weight on it, even though it's just like eight to ten pounds. You just like I can feel that ten pounds on my body. Like, yeah, okay. nah, nah, it feels good when when you get all the way back, man. It feels way great, better. Yeah, cause you're super energized and shit and everything, everything, huh? Yeah, when I'm weighing in, I'm all lightheaded and so, oof. All bad, but you gotta do it the right way. Yeah, you do yeah. it the right way. You should be good. What do you? How you do it? Like just uh, days before, say if I weigh in like three days in, I start cutting down a little bit of water. Start eating less. The day before I weigh in, no water, yeah. no food. Yeah, damn. Start working out. Just yeah. and then after you after you weigh in, start grubbing. Boom. Start grubbing. <laughs> uh, what do you plan on like uh, fat fighting at like later on though? Right? Later on, right now, uh, my first fight was at one twelve. 
this fight in two weeks is at 114. Okay. Like I, I felt like I got a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just gradually. Yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to rush you. Just let my body. Oh, you know, naturally go into yeah, that. Because so, I mean, you're still a young man, yeah, 22 yeah, yeah. years old or 23, would you 23, say? 23, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So as I get older, my body will start feeling a little more than 118, 122. Just, yeah. it, all, it, all, it all all come into play. Yeah, yeah. And then I say that your uh, dad was the one who motivated you to uh, box. Yeah, yeah, my pops did. He was used that to 15, box. though? Or was it younger? Well, Boxing? I started at 15. Okay, okay. That's yeah, that's up. actually late for a lot of people. That's what I was about to... I didn't yeah. want to disrespect it. Yeah, though, that's, but that's I, a lot of, That's <laughs> really late. Usually everybody who's who's pro and doing it big right now is they'll start at like, like 7, 10. 8 yeah, years old. Like, been see. fighting since like 8 years old. Yeah. But, man, I got a late start, but I ended up well. being good at it. So. I, I mean, shit, bro. Just from what I see, I don't really yeah. think about... I know anything, really. I just like to watch fights. So I watch yeah. a lot of UFC. And then, like, back in the day when I was young, I watched a lot of boxing. and watched some boxing now and stuff, but... Just from seeing people throw hands, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm just yeah. those hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's what's you. up, bro. Uh, do you feel like, I mean, I don't know, how's like, as a boxer, like, I mean, like, how does that feel just walking around? Because, I mean, just like a regular dude like me, even being from Stockton, you think about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what that lifestyle would be and just like, I mean, just training every day in the gym, grinding. Like, yeah, that's a lot of sacrifice. Like, yeah. man, I'm 23 years old right now. Like, I always tell everybody, everyone my age is... Man, this is Stockton. You're going to the Ave. You're going yeah. to this. You're yeah, going to that. You just Drinking party. Trulies. Yeah, <laughs> doing everything. It's just, it's a lot of sacrifice, but man, it's like as I can tell right now, it's it's finally starting to all pay off. I'm starting to get a little name out there. Starting to get a little stuff now. So I guess it's all worth it. If it, it probably feeds it even more to even keep doing it, even yeah, doing it the yeah, way you're yeah. doing it better. You the, know? the more uh, the more success and stuff I'm getting, it's just like, all right, yeah. It's like making sure I could tell like a person like you want to go about and do it the right way and also like uh, represent yourself the right way yeah, too. Yeah, you of know course. what I mean? Cause yeah. like that's, and that's like real cool to make sure like those little steps forward, you know what I mean? Use those like as bricks to build something better for your future, you know? Yeah. Yeah, metaphors, nigga. <laughs> 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 All right, so here, since you're wearing the Stockton's Finest drip, uh, yeah. shout out to Stockton's Finest. Shout out to Stockton's Finest. Uh, we can go ahead, uh, you can go ahead and finish this phrase. And I always ask one of my guests this. I'm going to have you finish this phrase. All right, let's go for it. All right. Uh, you know you're in Stockton when? When... There's a homeless person at every corner. <laughs> <laughs> when there's more tents yeah, and houses. I'm sorry to laugh about it, though. <laughs> when there's more tents and houses. Tents and houses. Damn, bro. That's hella big, too. Cold over like in, uh, It's hella crazy, too. Like, Stockton's like, known for, like, the crazy, like, the murder per capita rate and then, like, uh, the depression, like, or not depression, but, like, the market crash and mm -hmm. dropping everything. And uh, you see the homelessness. I mean, it doesn't compare to, like, L.A. or San Francisco or whatever, you know what I mean? Or yeah. Oakland or whatever. But I mean, you see it here, you're just like, damn, bro, there's a homeless population, bro. Like, and even some of the homeless people get famous on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for real. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if you remember. There's a, like this old Asian dude. I was just talking to about this girl, to this girl about it the other day. She remembers like the old Asian dude. He would walk everywhere from all the way from Stockton every day. Like anybody who was anybody saw this dude just walking around. And but this was like a while ago, like yeah. eight years ago. But he was he, out there hustling. Yeah, they made him a Facebook <laughs> nigga. And they're just everyone just started adding photos of whatever they saw this because <laughs> it was crazy. Because we're like nigga, he walk. How does he? He just walk straight up and down all day. <laughs> He's out there hustling, yeah. getting everyone's pocket change. <laughs> so you been uh, born and raised in Stockton? Yeah, I was born and raised in Stockton. I would stay right there uh, out east by Philbert, uh, Genoni Park in that area. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I've always been there my whole life. All right, and then how was just growing up in Stockton, man? Just, just like everybody, just you yeah. always deal with the same. You got goods and the bads. Yeah. What I always tell everybody is like, you really don't got to be a product of your environment. Like, yeah, man, yeah. if you grow up in the hood, if you grow up in this, man, just, it just really what's in your mind. If you got the mindset to do anything, you can do whatever. No, yeah, and I feel that totally too. The only thing about uh, with certain people though, I feel like they feel uh, obligated to like uh, to get away from Stockton or like yeah, bash yeah. Stockton. Sometimes. A, a lot of people do bash Stockton, saying like, "Yeah, I got to get out of here." It just, yeah. Man, this is where you're from. Embrace it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, hey, even if you do need to leave or you want to leave, go ahead, bro. But like, just don't have this negative <laughs> connotation. Real. Like, bro, that place raised you, this bro. This what made you. You know what I mean? Like, and and use that as like a pedestal, bro. Like, because like the my mindset and perspective, I mean, bro, I lived in Florida. Yeah. I lived in uh, Indiana, Kentucky. Uh, you know, I've been, uh, I've been around the United States, bro. And like... Uh, 
Oh, I even lived in SoCal. And I'm just like, bro, having the stock to state of mind honestly benefits a lot of people. They don't even realize it, bro. Just being able to be on 10 toes, just to know what's around your surroundings because you've been in certain environments where you just know, like, whatever. But I just, I don't know. I just feel like being around these type of people, bro, it's a lot easier to talk to other people from other places because I'm just like, yeah. You You got that mentality already. Yeah, that mentality of just like, oh, you know how to judge character, I think. That's what I think. You know what I mean? Because you've seen all sorts of different types of people. Yeah, you get everyone from around here. You get... (laughs) I've Feel seen bad, the I'm best ugly. people and the worst people, bro. For real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. I hear you get everything. Yeah, and uh, and like like I said, because you get to see it from all different like cultures and shit too. Because mm-hmm. like I went to Indiana, bro. White people everywhere, and I wasn't like I wasn't used to that. Like I was tripping, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And like they're Asian people there, like they're like first generation, so most of these people don't even know how to, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, this is crazy, bro. And you just realize, like, damn, like people don't for real like uh, have that same upbringing and culture around them. You know what I mean? They don't even yeah. have the opportunity to. They'd have to go like reach out for it. And out here, it's like thrown in your face every day, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a trip. Uh, I got another question. Uh, What's up? For your, like, do you got like, a favorite, like, actor or something? Do I got a favorite actor? Yeah, or like, yeah. Because I usually go with Brad Pitt because he's my favorite actor. But I usually ask as the question, like, what, uh, who's, like, your, like, your favorite actor and what, like, character from a movie you, do you think uh, you are of them? So, like, I, if, like, me, oh, who I, I think I am, I think I'm Brad Pitt in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because he was a stuntman. Yeah, yeah, He was just, like, quiet. He didn't even have that many lines. He was just, like, a man, man. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, you know you could whoop this nigga's ass, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he didn't have to. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? He was a cool dude, you know what I mean? Uh, but I probably, like, a burn after reading, like, Brad Pitt, like, a goofy dude, you know what I mean? End up getting killed in that movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's not a cool one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh, a character I will be in a movie. You ever seen a Bronx Tale? Yeah, I did see a box too. You, uh, yeah. you know, you know, uh, C. Cologinal. No, I don't remember. I just man, he, he's remember. a younger dude. Always hangs out with it's the older, or, hangs out one. with all the uh, older gangsters. Hold up with this, the and kid. That. The yeah, kid, the kid. Right? Yeah, the kid. yeah. Because yeah. they kind of embraced him in yeah, and shit. Because yeah. his dad didn't want him to be up in that shit, right? Yep. Yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah. Our, he that was Robert De Niro everybody. was his dad, right? Good. Was he it? always had good morals. This yeah, and that, yeah, but he ain't. He was never no super. He ain't never been no super gangster. Yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like. I am. I'm around a lot of people, but yeah, yeah. Uh, got, my own little, got my own little head straight. I'm doing my own little thing. That's what's up. Now, I like that that you did yeah, that. I, but I like that. Uh, that's why I like asking that question, just because you kind of, it's like painting a picture. You get to use another like piece of art to paint a picture yeah. of like what you are and going through and you relate to. Like before I played, I played baseball. Like that's why another reason why I love Brad Pitt so much. Before I played baseball tournaments or anything like that, like I'd, I'd watch the movie Troy like over and yeah. over again. Cause I'm like, nigga, I want to be. I want to be Achilles, <laughs> nigga. Like, I'm straight out Giants, nigga. I'm taking out with one slice of my sword. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? I wanted that motivation, you know what I mean? So I'd like to ask that question. Uh, and then, uh, what is your, one of your favorite uh, rap artists? Or not rap artists, any music artists or anything? Because uh, then I'd ask, what are your uh, top three songs of theirs? Oof. My rap music goes... Man, it goes deep. Like, like, like. Recently, just, yeah, I've been trying to give like a, a lot of people from around here. That's yeah. Like, no, I'm I saying everybody too, out yeah. here shows me love, so it's yeah. Man, yeah, if you yeah. want to support someone, why don't you do so from here? Then I mean, especially with all the music and shit out there, bro. Like yeah, you can get yeah, anything yeah. everywhere, so you might as well just get it from here if it's good enough. And for that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like, and be now, I slap him. Yeah, yeah. Tough, yeah, like, man. man I, you got I, a I, song with Mozzie, bro. So uh, yeah, that's for fucking, real. You're thorough as far as I'm concerned, nigga. <laughs> Shout, like, shout out now, like I mean, man, even just, without that, he seemed like a real one. But still, like I'm yeah, like, all right, that's yeah, all right, that's been authenticated, that's notoriety. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, you got the <laughs> check marks you. Yeah, but check it. Yeah, check. I, I slap him like a lot, lies. So, uh, ask anyone about me. I'm, and what would say? What, you, what would you say? Is like top three songs from him? Top three songs: uh, Confessions, uh, Polly in my city, and that. Uh, and then never fall freestyle. Okay. Like all those, man, I know it's worth I mean, Those are going to be the ones I go and look at. Because like I said, I just recently Bro, got That confession was hard. Like literally like, what, not even like a month ago. And I'm like, yo, because I just did like his videos on YouTube and shit. And then I'm like, oh, I need to check his new. Because he just dropped that yeah, project yeah, he like, did. not that long ago. Man, I already know all that already too. He had it here, actually. He had his, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I came to this Oh, uh, yeah, too. okay. So I missed you then, yeah. My, my boy, uh. I got another boy here. His name's a uh, Boy Boy Norm. Okay. Yeah, I grew up with him. I met him like third, fourth grade. Okay. He's been coming out here. Uh, he's been dropping a lot of music. He got a song with now. 
Okay. And he got a lot of stuff, so I'll be slapping a lot of him around here. But just those two really around this little area is what I'll slap with hard. Uh, so going to, that goes into another one of my four questions. This is the last, uh, I got other ones after you about your life, but this one be the four random ones. It's just like, all right, you got a 30,000 seat arena. Right, Oof. thirty thousand seat arena. There's uh, <laughs> there's no budget, so you're gonna have a concert, right? Yeah. Uh, there's no budget. You can have anyone dead or alive, and you're gonna have like three to five people, because that's usually how many. Like, I mean, unless you have a festival, but we're not doing a festival. Do three to five, and you're dead or alive, and you can have anybody perform, even if you want. I don't know if you do anything. I know you actually used to. You said you used to skateboard. Are you trying to? Yeah, skateboard? I did try to skateboard. Yeah, I tried to find that. I was like, does this thing got any videos? I can find any videos. <laughs> Nah, you can't find none of that. Yeah. That was a lost file. Okay, but uh, yeah, you can have that concert, 30,000 people, dead or alive, uh, five, three to five people. What's the goal? Are you trying to feel it? You already got to feel it. There's, it's already going to beat, but what do you, do, you want to see? What do I want to see? Yeah. Because the people ask, like, people have everything. People have people dead people. People have people from here. People have themselves, not themselves. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. whatever you want, yeah. Give me... Give me Wayne, all okay. old, old, old Wayne, all old, okay, old Wayne. Have Alfred, you can tell him what you can do, write the playlist. So <laughs> yeah. these are the songs. Nigga. I know you got a million songs. He, he's these just are falling the... off. <laughs> he's just falling off. I love Wayne, bro, but it's good. I ain't tripping. Because like you said, no ceilings, nigga. My shit. Nigga, so. <laughs> yeah, but that last one, I wasn't really. Really? I just like it was the metaphor. I, like two, three songs. I'm a metaphor, dude. You know what I'm saying? But he had like 30 songs on it. So I'm like, bro, yeah, don't yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know if I listened to the whole thing yet. All right, let me see. Wayne. Uh Got to throw 40 in there. Oh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the only I've one. Man, he'd be relevant. He's good, bro. He gets the people hype, bro. Like, you know how people get people hyped and shit? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Everyone's get different because I seem different. The way people eat 40 gets people, like, people have a fun, fun. Like, it's comfortable because this is like a good time. Eat 40 is tight. Watch him. For real. He loves watching him perform. Saw him twice. Uh, yeah, it's, man, he's been relevant for like twenty years, bro. I don't even, maybe like thirty. I'm like, he might have died and came back to this life, <laughs> and this is his third time doing this shit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's see. What am I two? You yeah, said two five? got Wayne and E40. Actually, Ooh. I saw E40 because I went to a Wayne concert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, got there. That's crazy. Uh, it's all musically. You could do me. You could do whatever. If you want to have a boxing match with this oh. motherfucker, you could do that. You're like, yo, oh, man. it's good. Throw me a little, little G in there fighting. <laughs> we might even do me that. Me and little bro. G in there beating people up. No, that's what's that's up. four right there. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you can go two someone. music and then two at the there end. There you like, go, right the there. <laughs> For real, uh, that'd be sick, bro. And then you gotta do, you gotta do another. Like, if you can, you got you do me two more artists, two more artists. Uh, two more artists. Uh, Chanel off top. Yeah, no, that'd be sick too. You could do that. Yeah, that'd be mm, sick. Let's bring back Pac. Uh, <laughs> that'd be sick, bro. So, <laughs> that'd be so sick. If you had Little Wayne and E Forty opening, <laughs> <laughs> and, got, and Nell and Pac. You have two, but two, no, but then you have two boxing matches in that uh, motherfucker. People get hyped up for that. Watch that shit, and then after that shit, y'all kill everything. Now y'all was part with them. Two, <laughs> and the new, <dude. laughs> that'd be sick. That was a good one, bro. I give real. you that. Yeah, one of the best answers on that one. Yeah, sure. creative with that <laughs> one. That that that's one. gonna sell out. Uh, who's who's your favorite boxer? My right. favorite boxer, uh, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. I gotta say Manny Pacquiao. Why he, is that? He though? started off at 108 pounds, really little. Yeah. Moved up all these divisions, took down everybody. He's always been the smaller guy. He was never never backed down to everybody, and he's really humble. Yeah. He's not out there talking like this and that. I'm Ever even like when he was younger, he was humble. never. He yeah. just he's always shut up and let his hands do the talking. Man, he got hands too. Yeah, man. so I've always really admired that. Like yeah. you won't ever ever see me out here just like just running my mouth this and that. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heat of the moment once in a while because. Everyone gets to it. I feel like you're more of a thought out person, or maybe not. You're just more cool to the idea, like you know what I mean. Watch what you say. You say the right thing at the right time. Yeah, I really laid back. Yeah, but even like how your boxing style, I feel like you know you're picking your. Like, yeah, you're I really <laughs> pick it because might as well just pick and because I know these two uh, uh, they yeah. gonna land and throw six and miss four. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, just the, like I saw what three, and even when you were younger, like it was at 2014, I saw one. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. Even seeing how you, you know what I mean. You had something similar, you know. Obviously now it's more. Developed, yeah, like, of even course. Because I saw at the beginning it was like he was roughing up, but then at the same time, like a couple minutes passed. Careful you start, thinking. Yeah, then you start seeing it. I'm like, oh shit, now it's the shit that I saw yeah, now. You know, it, what it's mean? it's all a mind thing. Like, it's just because the last guy I saw you fight was the dude. I think it was your. It was you didn't knock. It was a four round, five round. Yeah, uh, it was and, probably four in the pros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you won uh, that one. He was just. uh 
he because like at first he was trying to do shit, but then he just like fuck, I gotta come at this nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know you're talking. It was my second fight. It was a little shorter, dude. Yeah, yeah. And man, I got longer arms, so yeah, if, I, if yeah. I'm far away, you ain't touching me. Yeah, yeah. No, you, bro, you fucking touched him, bro. So, <laughs> like yeah, watch exactly. that fight because the other one you not hit this nigga like right at the right time, right moment. That first one you knocked him, yeah, shit with the left, right, yeah, yeah or on top of the head, like right, boom. Yeah. And then fucking the other one though, you get to see more of your skill though because this nigga was able to take some of these punches. Yeah, he shit. was taking it. I was like, <laughs> I was like this too. I was like, damn, bro, wait. I was like, go to sleep already. <laughs> Yeah, bro, he was tough. The, but you did the body, though. You're hitting on that. Yeah, wow. I was yeah. like, fuck, bro. I was like, well, name another couple other of your favorite boxers. Two more. So. Uh, oh, Roy Jones Jr. Bro. bro. Roy Jones Jr. is hard. Is that the, is that, that hook? That left hook? That yeah, shit? that left hook. <laughs> and, and I always like how comfortable he is. Like, yeah. he could be in there at a distance, put his hands down, get around. Uh, mm. uh, uh. Like, that's, that's hard. Uh, let me see. Roy Jones Jr., Manny Pacquiao, and I like Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Tyson He's Fury. Tight, bro. See, especially his last fight, Tyson man. Fury. Just... I've been a Tyson Fury fan since before he beats Klitschko. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that was a fucking like five years. That was a minute like, ago. <laughs> that was a minute ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. Yeah, fucking. Uh, why do you like him so much, though? It just is all his mental state. Like, of course, he's a cool boxer. Like, he's good. But man, th- th- that was an animal in his head. Oh man, I, you have to be like, cause the way he just thinks of. I feel like even though he's like a fun guy and all this shit and everything, like yeah. your mental state, bro. He licked this nigga. He wanted. Yeah, to lick, he licked he his blood. Like he literally would have done it on purpose just to maybe like, but he just probably knew it wasn't probably the best to go all the way there. Yeah. But like he he wanted to. Like he probably <laughs> <laughs> to have the mental capacity to even remember and think that and shit. In bro. the middle of a fight, fight, start licking. Be like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> like look, let's get all the let's get a meme going. Bro. For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> nah, I like how that fool is always just like, nothing is possible. You can do whatever you want. Like, really, that, that fool lost like, what, 200 pounds and came back after three, four years? Yeah, man. That's just... big as fuck, bro. Big. Big. Yeah. But he said, yeah, he's almost 400 pounds. Yeah, exactly. And then he's back at like 270, right? Mm-hmm. So like 130, 140. So he probably, yeah. but at one time, he was even lighter though than the last fight. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gave 20. So he's like 150, 100, yeah, 150 pounds, bro. Well, man, he's a real strong-minded person. Man. That's what you need in life, no matter who's boxing, no matter what it is. Yeah. Weak-minded yeah. people don't ever get nowhere. No, nah, not at all, bro. Uh, and then think about, so like, well, think about like the weak-minded things that you say. What are the things that probably calloused your your brain and calloused your, like, you know what I mean, to like go through and get tough through things, like moments probably like through your 19 and 4, I mean, amateur, that's, that's, you know, that's a good yeah. amount of fights of... You know what I mean? Struggle and everything. Yeah, like. it's just all confidence. Like if you if you feel like you're better than that person, if you go in with the right set of mind, then you're good. Yeah. If you go in there thinking that they're better, if you go in thinking that the wrong thing, then it's, it's not gonna come out good. Is there anything that particularly like stands out from like any moments from your life or whatever that like represent that? Not really. It just just my whole life in general. Encompassing and everything. Yeah, pretty much. And how it developed it. Yeah, just it, it all ha- it all starts in the gym. Yeah. Really? What are things like you do in the gym? Like, I don't know if, what you would say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just the usual things like jumping rope, hitting the bag, hitting the mix with my pops, uh, sparring a lot. I spar a oh, lot. Oh, so your dad ha- trains you yeah, too? Yeah, my dad trains me. He okay. trained me, uh, he trained me since, all right. My, my pops got me trained when I was 15 years old. He called in his older trainer, Brent, Brent Gamble. Shout out Brent. He's always, he showed me my basics on my jab, my right hand, my left. But he got me really good. But eventually he decided he didn't want to do it no more, so he took off. Okay. My pops continued to a point. He took me pro. Mm-hmm. He got my national title in the in the amateurs. We did oh, all shit. that. Uh, from there, uh, I, I won my first two fights, and then Gabriel Flores Senior, shout out you. He came in and he he made me develop a, a more professional style with my pops and him together. It just that's a deadly combination. Yeah, yeah. The two yeah. best coaches in Northern California. I mean, think about it, like what, like your and your dad knows you so well. Yeah, That's my dad knows know everything somebody. about me. Yeah. And Gabriel Flores knows the pro game. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what look I'm at Lil G, he's doing everything. He just fought at the Tyson Fury undercard. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no exactly. exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then uh just with those my my dad just just those two together, just more of a pro style, more of a just, so I just I'm a just pro, getting better. A pro every style time. that's uh formulated for you exactly, specifically. Exactly. Yeah. And that's uh, that's what uh, uh, I kind of like when you said that early when I saw researched you pretty much, yeah, yeah. and then you saying it now too is like it just brings me to my dad. I have a very strong father yeah. figure in my life, and like I mean, man, like 
it's just crazy when somebody like that's in for, in your in your corner and what that could do for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's so important. So that's why it sucks that some people don't have that opportunity Man. and stuff. And people literally come out to me like and make it a point i'm sure have you like damn bro like man you have no idea like how much like that nigga loves you bro like, <laughs> Real, my dad does a lot for me yeah because like i mean i don't know like i think my dad my dad's a great guy but i think he could be mean to some people they're like yo bro like when i was a kid they're like at work they'd be like you don't know how nice your dad is to you and hey. like or like how much he does <laughs> like how much like he really like you know what I mean? Does you know what I mean? And then as I get older, I realize that shit, and you're just like, damn, man, like it's just a good feeling to know someone like that in your corner, you know? Yeah, it is. My my pause is a lot for me between training and just through life. It's, yeah, yeah. So I have a lot to a lot of thanking for, honestly. Yeah, that's what's up, man, and that's good, man. That's just like another good thing to promote. Uh, so I don't know what time. I was. Oh, 25. Uh, let me see what we could close it out with, man. Uh, what's just something that you would want to let people know, man, about you? I mean, you got that fight in two weeks. I don't know. This might be coming out just around that same time. Oh, so who you fighting, bro? Uh, my fight is someone from, I believe, New Mexico. He got nine fights. Yeah. But, uh, me and my pops could do research on them and, yeah. and just pretty much adjust to what I need to adjust with and get this guy out the way and move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty uh, much. So, I don't know, man. It's just like the future for you, man. Like, I'm kind of excited. Now yeah, to man, to me too. <laughs> um, and I'm excited just thinking. Sometimes I'll be in bed like, man, I'm just trying to fast forward two years. Yeah, I know what you can't. Yeah, it's though. cool. <laughs> It's all, it's all, it's all a process. That's so what's up, bro. Because now that I got to meet you, bro, I'm like, damn, bro, I want to watch this shit, bro. Yeah, come out on. there, uh, March twenty first, uh, Stockton Civic Auditorium. Shout out to Scanner Promotions for having me there. Damn, bro. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be live. Level up, bro. Uh, anything yeah. else, bro? You want to just let anybody know, bro? Before I want to thank all my sponsors, Stockton's Finest, Finest. Uh, hey. Auto Yard Co. Go get a car from them. Uh, King VVS Bullies, go get a dog from them. Damn, bro, you uh, got this water, water liquors, Damn. go over there. Man, Alegria Market, best tricep sandwiches in town. Man, I got I got a lot of sponsors to thank, really. Did they all like just reach out to you, or is it kind of both type it, of thing? It, it's, I have a little more, but it just like, all right, so Stark and Finest, they, they, they follow me. And, and, I, and I actually, yeah, I, seen, I seen too. Lex and on the thing, and I, uh, I I messaged her like, hey, uh, how much for this sweater? Like, it was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she actually, uh, she hit me back like, uh, where you stay at? And I, I was going to buy it off her. She came by and just shot me a few things, like on the strength. Like, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, and ever since then, we've just been rocking. She makes all my clothes. That's what's up. I, I won't ever wear nothing be, besides her stuff or in the, from the muscle clothing. That's uh -huh. it. Just my, that's my cousin, Chris. Okay. That's his stuff. But All other right. than that, I, I won't Shout really... Shout out to look that in and look into that shit. Man, he, he, this is the only... I always try to promote shit. I mean, I yeah. wear this shit because I own this podcast. I be trying to wear different shirts and shit, but I do so many podcasts. I'm like, they don't wear other shirts. For real. <laughs> That's, that's my big thing, though. If you're going to support someone, I might as well do it for someone from here. Hell yeah, bro. I love doing that, bro. For I real. love that. Uh, what, like... Uh, Damn, bro. I, uh, I'm trying to, like, uh, compass it again back because, like, I was telling you early, bro. Like... You just doing your thing, and then like you reaching out to support someone. Look how someone wanted to support you. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And like that's the same thing. Like I try to always bring every podcast back into this. And like I was telling you earlier, is just like like do, I just want everybody just to do their thing, do whatever makes you feel right, do whatever makes you feel good, whatever you want to do and accomplish. And it's amazing. It's tr it's truly amazing. Like, of all the other people and things that you want will just come to you. Because yeah. literally, like, all that shit, literally, like, things you didn't even think you needed or, I mean, people will see your light and gravitate towards it. You know For I mean? real. And I just feel like even when hearing that from you, I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, I uh, wish more people would do it. Like, it's so hard um, and how am I going to do it and stuff? And it's like, just do it, bro. And then good shit literally comes. I know it sounds redundant. It does sometimes. Like, everything. I'm telling you, my whole, my whole neighborhood supports me. Yeah. Poor City Towing. Man, it's, if you ever need a tow, hit them up. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, saying. And the crazy <laughs> thing is, it's all out east. Yeah, yeah. Like a, a good, a vast majority of my sponsors, it's like I'm saying, Auto Yard Co. That's right there out east. Uh, um, Port City Towing, right there down the street from the spot. Uh, Allegria Market. Yeah. Uh, Water Liquors, like it's all right there. And if I've been seeing everybody just growing up, and, yeah. And they they see me like, thing, all right, it's, it's, it's dope. I, I love that. Like a lot of people says, like. 
the hood is this and that. Like, man, embrace it. Yeah, no, look like people want to talk shit on start. Look what the people are doing for you, bro. Yeah, look, you. look, look, <laughs> at my, look, look like, what my little neighbor is doing for me. That's how you gonna say there's no that. love out here, bro? They like, don't got to <laughs> do, do none of that for me, but. Man, Stockton's finest. She, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, she hasn't known me since a kid, but just ever since then, man. Just the support. Man, man. Lex has just been doing so much stuff for me. It's crazy. Yeah, I got to get her on. I told her I'm gonna get her yeah, on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah Lex yeah. is the one. We uh, talked about it. It's just setting it up. But now I got to figure out my schedule and stuff because I'm able to do a lot more now. She so. got some shirts coming out for me this week. They're dope. Yeah, for sure. They're for dope. Sure. I can't wait. to I'll see I'll bring you one by. They're dope. Oh uh, hell yeah! She got I can't, I'll rock that shit. Tell me like, yo, niggas, check out. Hey, they're dope too. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Well, uh, anything else, bro? No? Fucking watch the fight. Check out Marco Arroyo, bro. He's a uh, one. I, like I said, watch out for that left. <laughs> that shit was nice, bro. All right, man. But on that note, blah. Hell <laughs> yeah, bro. Thank you, man. Thank I really you, appreciate bro. this. That was I dope, really do. bro. Hey, what it is? It's Harmon Warhol. Hey, click all the links aside next to me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Do something. Please show love. Hey, and get love back. Thank you.